So what we have here today is a, another <laughs> high gain 623, uh, also known as the Utopia. It's an AM single side band radio, uh, 23 channel. Um, I just picked this one up like a, I don't know, what, what can you say? I needed this like a, need another hole in the head. <laughs> but uh, I can't pass up on these radios when I see them. Um, I got this one for $99. And it even works. You can hear it receives. Uh, on sideband, the frequencies, they're way off. Uh, actually, they're off like, God, probably close to 2,000 hertz. If I hook it up to a signal generator and put it in lower sideband, uh, if you hook it up to a normal signal generator, normally what you do is, would be if you have like a 1,000 hertz modulation, you would set your frequency to 27.184. Because remember, with sideband, there's no carrier. Well, if you do that, you don't hear anything. You have to set the frequency to like 27.186, which should be the upper sideband. <laughs> but it's actually, so that's how far it's off. But uh, other than the frequencies being off, uh, this radio looks all original. Now, I have done an initial cleaning. I haven't done a fine detailing on it yet. But it was nasty when I got it. Um, and, you know, I'm not going to restore it right now. But before I put anything on the shelf, I always like to give it a quick wipe down. If anything... Here's the microphone that came with it, or no high gain microphone. You can see how dirty the cord is. That's what the radio looked like a few minutes ago. <laughs> That's how nasty it was. But you can see it cleaned up really nice. And like I say, I haven't done a fine detailing on it yet, so it should really clean up even a lot better than that. Um, but it works. It receives and transmits. Powers output power is a little bit low. Dead keys like three watts and swings if you're lucky, maybe five. And uh, sideband does about eight and a half, maybe nine watts peak on uh, sideband, but uh, it transmits and it actually receives not that bad. Like I say, other than frequencies being off, it does receive. Not a whole lot of skip coming in at the moment. About 20 minutes ago, it was rolling in. It's like about the only thing at the moment is a little bit of Mexican skip coming in. Yeah, down south was coming in strong a little bit ago. But in any case, so here's another one. Um, now I've already done a video, showed the inside of one of these, which I just, that was another one I got not too long ago. But uh, this one's in such nice condition. The only real cosmetic flaw with it is that lettering right there. That's the only lettering that's worn off is right there. <laughs> so, and I can take care of that. I can, that can be redone. But, uh, yeah, this one's in such nice physical condition. I think this, I've got a lot of, <laughs> actually, probably hundreds of things I'd like to restore. Um, but uh, I honestly think this one is going to become my next personal restoration project. I rarely have time to do anything like that anymore. Um I just don't have time to work on my own stuff, unfortunately. But uh, before the end of the year, I think I'm going to tackle this one because um, it's really nice. Now, I already have, God, I don't know, six, eight, I've lost count. I've got several that I've already restored, and I have to be pushing a dozen of these that need to be restored, some of them in... Good condition. I don't think any of the ones that need to be restored are quite this nice. Um, but, uh, and some of them are, yeah, they're they're homely looking to say the least. But uh, like I say, this one's in such nice shape. I really think, and I really like these radios. Real, they have excellent sideband uh, reception quality on these things. It actually transmits really nice. The only thing I did notice other cosmetic wise, and I'm just noticing it now, is the the right side of the red scale here is faded out. Bring the camera down. How well that shows up in the camera. There we go. You can see it's faded out over here on the right. So I may pull a meter out of one of my other ones. It's not, I'll just swap them. Um, but I'll take one out of the other radios that, that physical conditions a lot worse. But I've got a couple of these. The cover's got big dents in them. They need a lot of 
a lot of sheet metal work done to them. But I've got some that have really, really good looking meters. So it looks like this might have been, at least in, in the corner there, was exposed to a beam of light maybe. Because <laughs> this, this thing was absolutely nasty. Wouldn't surprise me if it sat in a barn and that much of the meter, you know, was getting daylight for the last 30 years sitting in a <laughs> back in the corner somewhere. But it does work and that's all that matters to me. Um, it receives and transmits, even if it only received a tiny bit and put out, I don't care if it was even just an eighth watt of power, that tells me it's working, all the oscillators work, you know, the final circuit's working. So actually receive, like I say, it actually seems to be pretty good. Um, other than the frequency being off about 2,000 hertz on sideband, uh, sensitivity actually was fairly good. At one microvolt, I had a good, good, clear audio signal coming in. So, uh... Your sensitivity seems fine. Uh, so there you go. Uh, like I say, look forward probably before the end of the year. I'm probably going to restore this one. Um, cause like I say, this is just so nice. Looks 100% unmodified on the inside. It wouldn't even... Now, if you're not familiar with these, uh, this is a hybrid radio. It has one vacuum tube, and that's the final. Um, everything else is solid state. uses plug-in boards. Uh, you can go back and look at the other video I did here a while ago that actually showed the inside of one of these. But, uh, like I say, I'll, I'll do this one. It looks unmodified, though. Uh, the clarifier is locked on this. And if you're not familiar with these radios, when you unlock these clarifiers, you can get damn near... You're used to, Most people, when you unlock a clarifier, they're used to you can get, what, a channel, half a channel worth of slide, usually. Not this radio. You unlock these, if you jump around all the resistors, you can get like 20 channels <laughs> worth of slide out of one of these things. Uh, just an insane amount. Now, it is multi-turn, as you can see. Uh, I think it's like 13 and a half, 14 turns, something like that. Um, but uh, you, can, you can adjust that range... You know, just by changing a few resistors, you don't need to go as, go out as far as 20 channels. But, uh, you know, if you do do the 20 channel thing, you know, that's one way to get extra channels on this, because you got to remember it's 23 channel. So, but uh, there you go. There's just a, definitely an upcoming project. Like I say, it's so nice. And yes, the interior looks just like this mic cord, <laughs> which is what the outside originally looked like. Dirty, nasty, filthy. But, uh... So keep an eye out in the future here within the next uh, probably two months. At some point I'll get started on this thing. I might make it actually a series because these aren't one of those overnight projects. Uh, there's a lot to do in one of these. Uh, it's not like your no normal radios that have one single circuit board because it's plug-in modules. And there's a lot of things that are rather unique in these radios. Because like I say, it is an early side, true sideband radio. It's not, a, not double sideband like the real early radios. But uh, we'll cover some of that stuff. And uh, the only thing I think really needs to be troubleshot, I did notice earlier I had it on channel 21, local dump truck company. Yeah, there's nobody on right now. They're doing some, some road work around here, really close by. But I had some on this meter, it was showing like plus 40 on the signal meter. And when I had those really, really strong signals coming in, I could hear an extremely high-pitched noise. Probably like 3,500, maybe 4,000 hertz. It was really, really high-pitched. But as soon as they'd unkey, and it wasn't just one, if it was just one radio or one you know, guy I was listening to, I heard that. I might say it was his radio, but there was three of them talking, and I, it didn't matter which of the three keyed up, I uh, heard that from all three of them. So, it's got... And that just could be caps, because all of the electrolytic capacitors in this thing are 100% original. Uh, the carbon composition resistors are all original in this. So, you know, like I say, it needs, needs a lot of stuff replaced to bring it up to, you know, to do a full restoration on this thing. Um, but, it works. So, keep an eye out in the future for a restoration project to come. <laughs>